Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Neil Larsen. I will be your Viking architect uh, city builder in uh, in this episode. And yes, it's going to be all about city building today. Uh, we have our little house here. And this is the first house. And I got a lot of comments like, oh, that's a nice house. Uh, can you show us how it's built? And yeah, so we did some exploration, some mining, that kind of thing, some boss killing. Now it's time for us to do some design work and build. First, I'm going to be talking a bit about the design of the overall city because I have decided that this will be the location where I'll be building everything and then I'll be bringing stuff in here. If you're by any means familiar with anything I've ever done, then you should be recognized this as city blocks. We now have a city that actually has city blocks. Each of the city blocks is 10 foundations or 10 uh, planks wide, so 10 by 10. And then we have in the middle here an intersection. I put lights around that uses way too much resin, so that's not sustainable. Underneath each of the intersections, I put a workbench. This means there's workbench coverage everywhere. Then my idea is that for each location, I will have a certain theme. For example, I planted a nice oak tree here, and then I have the kilns and the furnaces, and that's just all there is to it. I put this chest here because we're going to use a lot of materials for what we're going to build. We're going to be build something in this square. It'll be a brew pub. So uh, what we want is uh, we want a kitchen and we want a a place for our meat to mature and what better way to do that than a modern brew pub i mean with a beard like this uh, i should have had a man bun but then i would be uh, the ideal candidate the archetype for running a brew pub in uh, any metropolitan city and you can see here we have more uh, more areas each of those will be terraformed and be built into something else i'm thinking right now that this will be a portal room so dedicated for portals i'll be doing most of the work of uh, of designing and building on stream so come on by on twitch to uh, have a look now one of the big challenges for this uh, these kind of builds is how do i make sure that it doesn't become just a big square thing uh, as, uh, to start with and that's uh, that's going to be Thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it, it uh, in a time lapse. So because I think it'll actually be like it might be a two hour build and then I can voice over as I start building it. So let's get started. And the first thing we obviously need in order to build something, we need to build a, get a lot of trees. So what a bit, a little grove of trees up here and I make them uh, as close as possible so that we can, uh, when they we chop down one, then they will sort of cascade and fall, fell the other ones. And, you know, it's kind of dangerous, but, you know, there's always been a war between me and the trees. And uh, let's see, I think I'm going to win this one as well. And now all of the footage you're seeing here is, of course, in double speed. Otherwise, it would just take too long and, of course, I've cut out all the other stuff. What is important for, for these kind of designs is that I'm only at four wood and fine wood and normal wood uh, tech level so of course also copper and bronze but uh, that means there's a lot of things that i can't build and that means the, the design will be constrained by some of those things uh, i'm trying to sort of cater for some of the things that are coming a bit later in my design but we'll, uh, we'll see and also a few birch trees and there we go there we go the entire forest was now filled and well i could chop that up but what we need to do is get started on our build with all the beautiful wood we have now the biggest challenge since i have a square is to make sure that it is not ending up with a square design so what i'm doing is i am just trying to make it not a square design by sort of cutting out a bit of this so that it'll be sort of more uh, the rectangular you can also see there's a bit of level difference in uh, in the area we have here inside but that's uh that, that will all make sense uh, so i make these whoops this is uh just two by two uh, no two by four of these uh, squares that's kind of uh, since it's now a 10 by 10 square then that's gonna be what we, we do and then we set the Core wood. I like the core wood. They are more stable. They can uh, reach. They reach twice as high, and they sort of still break the monotony of uh, what the base looks like. This will just basically be giving us a sense of of the contours of the base. As you can also see now, this difference in the two sides as well, because we'll want a balcony on this side, uh, but we don't want to have anything uh, a balcony on the other side. So we'll just make these girders and then uh, this is kind of the part of the building the, a, a house that i like the most it goes really quickly from ground level and then once you start racing it it goes really quickly now, of course you're going to need a bit of core wood as well to uh, to make, make this but you know it's uh it's worthwhile in my opinion so once we have done with this part now we have the framework 
that looks pretty good. This is the framework. And then we can start basically filling in some of the area. You can see we now have half a level down and this will be our kitchen area. Uh, this brew pub will be split into a kitchen area for cooking and then a bar area for drinking and the meat production. It, it makes sense. I'm pretty sure that I've seen a location like this in, uh, in Copenhagen uh, from time to time. And we go up from the kitchen area and just to make sure that people will s fall out of uh, out of the bar, I have done that. Well, I mean, I've, I've seen people do that so many times uh, when you stumble out. And why is there always like three steps down when you go out of a bar? Well, that sucks, but that's uh, so drunk people will stumble out of the bar. And that's exactly what we do here. We make sure that there are three steps on the way in and out of the bar. So there's a good chance of uh, just stumbling. Now we have this uh, level just raised up. Very important to make sure that you have these uh, small supports so that it connects directly into uh, into the ground. And these supports there and there. And then we just fill out the rest of it. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining here. And at this point, I actually sit for two days and wait for the rain to pass. Uh, two in-game days. That's kind of miserable because I was like, yeah, I can't be having it so dark. So this is now the morning. And uh, a few days later, at least it's not raining and it'll be uh, light soon. So we make just a wall all the way around. And this will be in the kitchen area. It's going to be one and a half level above the... Uh, above the floor and here it's only going to be half a level above the floor and I guess those are or these are kind of the things that I try to do to make just make it look a bit different just break up the symmetry like I do have a tendency to just to make very things very symmetrical so if I can what I can do to to make it to break up the symmetry is always good and we just make this part I don't have windows and windows are also like ridiculously expensive so it's also mountain area tech so I am um, Oops, made a mistake, fix that later. Um, I want to make sure that I I just have some light in here. I don't want to box it up completely. So this is kind of the best way I feel to, to make it get the sense that it is, it, it has, it's like light, light coming in. It's not a dark box of, of just no light. So with that all the way around, that is one more thing. Now we get starting to make it some contours as well. Then we do from the inside as well. And we make sure that we have also the kitchen area this this is now less less light coming in and i like that idea when you're in the kitchen area it's just more boxed in and this will be a area for our uh, for our fireplaces later on they'll be replaced with real fire here at the back of the bar we will be making our meat production we want to raise that just a little bit so it looks better instead of putting it on the floor and we'll be having that a bit later then of course we don't want to have people just stumble and fall into uh, into the bar or into the kitchen area. So we'll just do it like this, and we'll also make these. These are kind of these are small things. Like it's so nice with Valheim. You just have these little pieces here. They just fit nicely. They snap so nicely, and it just adds so much character to a build. And then we of course need a bar so we can serve the, all the meat we've just produced or are about to produce. And then we'll have a bar area here. I mean, all of these things are obviously not necessary, but uh, I just, for some reason in, in Valheim, I just can't help myself with these kind of things. Now let's start making the first floor because there it will be a first floor as well. And up here on the first floor, we can, we'll then have, we'll have to build the floor. This is gonna be a bit, a bit tight and it'll get this, this, this good feeling of uh, of just a really closed in cozy pub, which is exactly what we like. So we are gonna be building out here. This will be our balcony or sunroof or whatever we want to call it. And actually we don't want this part. So you can sit outside and enjoy the view of the base as you drink your, your meat here. Right, and as we do that, we of course need some kind of some kind of safety. I mean, we may not have been uh, super safe out in the forest, but when we are sitting here, we are dealing with drunk people, obviously. So they need to be make sure that we have uh, we have that um, we have some some railings up there. Apparently, I don't build that now. Well, we'll come back to it. But we'll just build the rest of the floor. 
And now that gets us a good sense of uh, what it's going to look like. And that one needs to be going out as well, I think. And we need to make the railings. It'll be just at half height. Let's make it with a nice... Oops. So make it also with the core wood up here. It should make sure that people don't fall out too easily. There we go. And we probably also make need to make a railing up here at this point. Or we'll start making the roof. Um, the roof just needs to make sure that there's enough room here. And we of course need to be able to go out on the on the sunroof and balcony. And then I want it to be sort of as flat as possible up here. We will need to deal with the water uh, or the smoke from the fires as well. But that's uh we'll 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 get there there and then start at some point it's easy to build from the top the flat roof or the 26 degree roof is uh, easy to stand on the 45 degree roof you can't stand on that so uh, standing here on the edge between the 45 and the 26 is well a good place and you can see we fall down as soon as we go one a little bit on the 45 roof these corner pieces are always really tough to uh, to to get to snap but it will be done and we need to make the rest of this part it gets a bit difficult to work uh, work from down here because it's just at the edge of how far we can reach and uh, so once we've done this we can work on the rest from up top and we'll just need to go up out and up here then it'll be much easier to to work with it and we can then continue you can see the coloring, they're still green color, that's nice. Uh, they get a bit more dicey as we get further away, but uh, supporting them from the other side just makes them a little bit more sturdy. And there we go, you can see they are a nicer color for, because they get support in the middle. So far, I mean, you can build it and it's red and not a problem, but this is just orange, so no problems at all. Uh, again, I wanted to break up the monotony, so on one side it is, uh, it goes all the way out to the edge and on the other side it does not. Now we put in the, the fireplaces, two fireplaces on either side. There will be of course be when we have the stone, we'll be getting that uh, replaced with other uh, other stuff as well. Uh, the, the big, the fire pit, I think it's called fire pit. Uh, we'll get that replaced and there should be enough room for it. Otherwise we'll just make changes. The idea is that these uh, locations will be, since they only serve one point, uh, one purpose, then they should have enough room to be upgradable when we get like more upgrade levels for each. Here we can see the smoke is now uh, getting trapped in here. We do have a way out, but if we just make a little barricade for the smoke up here, then we will actually see that the smoke will stay on that side and stay in the kitchen area. I think that's a pretty neat solution without sort of boxing it off. Uh, and then we have, you can see here, there's no, no smoke coming over in the bar area. I like that. It's uh, it it has you can see the smoke and it doesn't bother and bother the patrons of the bar. Speaking of patrons, if you want to support the channel, then I do have a patron, and I very much appreciate all the people who are uh, supporting. As you may notice, I probably don't notice, but I don't run uh, mid roll ads on my channel because I think they're annoying. So uh, that's uh, that's just something I I try to avoid. Um, there instead, I rely on uh, patrons supporting. There we go, and we are just making some. Now we're getting to the interior. All of the outs outside is kind of done. We can then start working on. Well, we'll build this. This is mainly aesthetic. You can also say it gets a bit of uh, of contour to it, but uh, we'll, we'll these kind of things they really help a lot. On the uh, oops, let's get that and that. Otherwise, they're a bit hovery. Good. Now we need to start working on the interior of, uh, uh, of yeah, all of the decoration, all of the stuff. We are going to get everything, all food products will be stored here. And I'm kind of wondering whether we want like a, a dedicated storage location because I want to have storage where they are most needed. And here we have the fermenters and then we, that will be at the back of the bar. Uh, the next thing we want to do is, well, we need to place some of these and also some uh, on the other side so we can put some cooking stations on the other side so we have different ways of cooking all the meat and then we'll have store that in the boxes here of course we also need a door and this is you can say the 
seventh entrance or the entrance for this. And now we are in the middle of the night. And the reason why we're building in the middle of the night is because we want to build some some uh, some lights and you know, it's much easier to see when, when we need the lights, when we actually uh, need the lights. So this needs uh, copper, it's getting a bit uh, expensive. You can also see this is the one time that you can see what day it was. It's day 88 at this point. Um, I spent a bit of time off camera uh, playing and I've been a bit of time on stream. So yeah, if you are thinking like 88 is a lot of, uh, of time, it is. And that's because I absolutely love this. So let's have a place where you can sit and enjoy your freshly brewed uh, beer and we'll need to get some beer stands here okay, there we go these are just like like minor things we're getting to the decoration area uh, decoration part of it and we built the tankards there we go that's gonna be nice and we should also get some uh, some in here that we want to show off the food we've been hunting and uh, eating and we can Get that it's so difficult to get those uh, to to trigger because it's really difficult to hover over that one and there kind of have to sometimes point a bit away from it or, or sort of from the bottom like that one just doesn't want unless we go all the way down and there we go but anyway it uh, it got done we have more stuff let's make some troll heads outside that's always good to have it uh, to get some troll heads outside of the inn and there, there. Two troll heads. Sweet. Now we're going to go upstairs again. Also here, we need a place where people can sit if they feel like it. And also outside, we'll need to be able to sit here on the sun deck as well. And then we want to just take this uh, boring gray area and uh, brown area and just make some, put some some grass there the problem with the grass is that it's really difficult to control it because it's such a big area so you basically have to splash it down and then remove it from the side and and then you can kind of get it there uh, also in this case well what are we going to use it for i would imagine that maybe you'd want some uh, some carrots farmed here this is not going to be sort of my carrot farm this is just going to be purely aesthetic uh, just something that that's going to look nice by having a few uh, carrot plants in flower uh, in this case, let's go we, and just need that and we box it up so they don't run away. And over here, since this is going to be a bit more ugly because of the the level differences, then I think we'll just to go put something here so we can't really see the ugliness. You'd want to have some, some logs stored next to your inn anyway. And then we take our cart. That would also be reasonable to have a cart parked outside of our inn. And those are kind of sort of just the little things, the little finishing touches for, for our I'll build and yeah backing up with the cart is about as difficult as backing up with the trailer on your car and then we get throw a few banners in here because why not it gives livens up the place um i think we'll just put it behind the bar it's a much nicer place to build it and we'll just throw in a few different colors just not for any particular team we're rooting for but just a, a different just a bit of color in here and of course also here and what you notice is that the barrels are open, the meat barrels are open, so you can just pee in if you feel like that. And we have open, we have now put in the meat, and the last thing we want to do is just go around repairing everything because it's been exposed to the weather while we were building, and then we can uh, just repair everything. It's, it's basically completed all of this uh, this build by just uh, just making sure that everything is repaired. Also up here, there's something repaired. Uh, they will take weather damage if they're exposed to the weather. So it's now it doesn't make sense to repair them until after we have we have put the roof on here. And just run around, repair everything we can. And we get all the way in. And then we should be able to have it repaired and then once we're done we'll just take a little tour and walk around and just see the whole place once it's all nice and finished it is time for us to take a look at our new inn or our new pub and i am really happy with the result of it we have uh, several entrances let's take the main entrance first so from the main entrance we have our wood piles we have our cart park we have our uh, carrots out front we have the two trolls taking a uh, good glance at us we step up the stairs and we don't fall going up the stairs we'll only fall on the way out going down the stairs we have of course our bar and let's uh, just bring a little 
our own tankard. There we go. And we have a place to sit. We can go over here and fill up the tankards. They are still fermenting. Uh, tasty and poison and minor healing and minor healing is what we have. Uh, maybe we don't want to look run around with that. Uh, if we go into our kitchen area, we have the cauldrons on one side and we have the cooking stations on the other side. This will be replaced with a fire pit once we uh, we have that unlocked. I have all the stuff we want here. So for example, the uncooked meat, the cooked meat and the finished uh, meals. Over here we have mushrooms, we have uh, vegetables and we have honey and we have uh, sort of, yeah, let's call it spices. And those are sort of available for us to build here. And that's going to be it. If we go upstairs, we have the meat. So you can just look in the meat or whatever you want to do. And we can sit here, watch... And on the sun deck, we can sit out here, enjoy the beautiful sun and have a look at our base, monitoring if there are any great dwarfs that are coming in. And it's, it's nice. And uh, as you can see, there are lots and lots of potential for us to continue to build. I am planning on this to be a, um, to be a build for portals. So that's going to be upcoming build. And then we'll have a harbor out here and we'll have all the stuff like workshop smithing. We'll have a resting area as well. You don't know anything. Anything we want, we can uh, we can build that. So if you want to be part of the design process, part of the sort of the uh, figuring out what we are going to do and how we're going to do it, then uh, come on into my Twitch streams. I'm streaming this uh, regularly. I can't say exactly which days, but I am intending to continue this for many months to go. Uh, we want to complete everything we want in the game, and this will be a big thriving city by the time we're done. I'll be making YouTube episodes such as this for uh, for just summary and uh, explanations and guides and that kind of thing. Next guide will, of course, be for the Elder and the Merchants so that we get get those sorted. Maybe also a bit of shipping. Well, at least, uh, at least that part getting it out there sailing. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you uh, thought about this kind of uh, build episode. And uh, if you want to see more of this kind in a future episode, uh, or if you uh, want more guides, let me know what you want. And then I will be seeing if I can provide it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.